Hello everyone, I am Arvind Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can load data from Salesforce to MySQL. Now what we are doing here, whenever we will have a new lead in our Salesforce account, the details will automatically be sent to MySQL and a new row will be created in the particular section and in a particular table of MySQL. Now, Salesforce is a CRM software which is used for marketing and sales and MySQL is a database management platform. Now, to do this automation, we are going to use an integration and automation service, Pabli Connect, which will help us connect Salesforce and MySQL together. Now, if you want to learn how to do this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And we are back at our screen. So what we have to do, we have to go to the address bar and type in pabbly.com slash connect and then press enter and as soon as we will do that you will see we will have these two options either you can sign in or you can sign up if you already have an account here you can just go for sign in if you do not have an account you have to go for sign up signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month okay now what i am going to do here i am just going to go and sign in because i already have an account here so what i am going to do i am just going to click on access now for pabli connect and here what I'm going to do, you can see here, these are all the automations I have. I'll just go to create workflow and here I am going to give my workflow a name. So let us just name it. Now the name is Salesforce to my SQL. Now I'm connecting these two applications. You can uh, connect whatever you, sorry, you can uh, name whatever you want to. And I am connecting these two applications. So I am naming it this. Now I'm just going to click on create. And after clicking on create, you will see I will have two windows here. First one is trigger, second one is action. Trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process. Action window is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process or when the final event is happening. So what we are doing here, we are having a lead generation in our Salesforce account. So we will go to Salesforce. Here in trigger event, we will go for new lead. Then we will click on connect. Add new connection, connect with Salesforce. And now here, what you are going to do, you are going to allow the access to Pabli Connect for your Salesforce account. And don't worry, your data with Pabli Connect is absolutely safe. So do not worry about it. And now here you can see it is uh, saying uh, that you have to put here instance URL and from where you are going to get the instance URL, you have to go to setup left sidebar company profile company information. So this is your Salesforce account. You have to go to setup. Let me just first go to home to show you. Now you will go to setup. After going to setup, you have to go to company profile here. And after going to company profile, you have to go for company information. After going to company information, you can see here it is written instance AP 16. Okay. So what you have to do? you have to copy this here and paste it here okay for me i have ap16 so i will just uh, uh, you know keep it as it is for you it can be ap12 so you have to replace this 16 with 12 the remaining part will be as it is okay now as soon as i will click on save and send test request it will take the recent lead which i had so what is my recent lead let me just see so you can see the recent lead is Sanchit Rao or Pita Mandoli, I think. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a new lead before doing this save and send test request. So let's just go here. And you know, I don't do not like this version. So I'll just switch to the classic one because I'm used to the classic one. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a new lead. So I will just go to create new and then lead. Now here, Lead owner, Pabli Connect, salutation, Mr. First name, let me just type in my name, Arpit. Last name is Sharma. Company is Pabli Connect. Title is Software Tester. Lead source, I got for, from phone inquiry. Campaign none industry technology so let me just see where is technology annual revenue nothing phone number i'm just going to use a dummy number here as i always do mobile number will be the same so let me just cut this and paste it here 9876546789 
फैक्ट्स नथिंग हेयर आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू पुट इन अर्पित शर्मा फोर थ्री टू वन एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम वेबसाइट आई डो नॉट हैव एनी वेबसाइट लीड स्टेटस इज कॉन्टैक्टेड रेटिंग वॉम नंबर ऑफ एम्प्लॉज नथिंग ओके ना इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पुट एड्रेस इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कैन पुट यू कैन पुट एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन एज वेल एज डिस्क्रिप्शन आई एम नॉट यूजिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स लेट मी जस्ट पुट इन सिटी स्टेट पोस्टल कोड फोर सिक्स टू जीरो जीरो वन country india let me just go for street also i have filled in everything here so here what i am going to do i am just going to write rose street okay now i am just going to click on save and then i will click on save and here you can see my new lead is saved and this is the recent lead now i'll just go to pabli connect and here i will click on save and send test request and as soon as i will do that you can see the recent lead has been captured here which is arpit sharma software tester is the title rose street everything which i just inserted in my lead is here okay so our first step of connecting our salesforce account to our pabli connect account is completed now what we are going to do here we are just going to connect our my sql account so what we are going to do here we are going to insert a new row for that we will go for insert row and then we will click on connect now here what i am going to do here in i will go for add new connection in here you have to put your database username then your database password then host so whatever your host will be you have to insert it here then you have to enter the name of the database here and port is 3306 now what we are going to do i am not going to show you uh, how we are going to do that because i cannot obviously show you my password personal information so i have already connected an uh, connection here connected a connection here uh, and i have an existing connection so i am just going to use this one and i'll click on save so here you can see i have some tables payment status user details customer data example let me just go and show it to you let me just first cancel this one and this is my sql now here you can see i have this d builder as my data and here you can see customer data example payment status salesforce lead table 1 table 2 user details okay so what i am going to do i am just going to go for salesforce lead because i am creating a lead in that table salesforce lead and i want all the information in that lead now here what i am going to do i am going to use a technique which is called mapping and mapping will let me take the data from this window here and it will let me put the data here in this window so first i will go for id which is this one full name arpit sharma email arpit sharma at the rate uh, gmail dot com four three two one obviously mobile 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 is this one phone I did not have any phone number I cancelled it company is uh, Pabli Connect lead source lead source is phone inquiry so where is the lead source part lead source and status so status was what was the status working and contacted okay and as soon as i will click on save and send test request you will see an error status phone field phone doesn't have a default value so it looks like that we have to put in the phone number as well so let me just put in the same phone number which i used for mobile phone and then let me just save and send test request again so you here you can see the status is success data inserted id is zero now what i am going to do i am just going to go back here and i am just going to show you here is the table of my sales uh, salesforce lead and here you can see arpit sharma arpit sharma 4321@gmail.com and here is the number here is the phone number company lead source status okay now our automation is successful what we are going to do we are again going to test this automation by creating a new lead in our salesforce account so let's go, just go for leads again create new lead miss first name is swati last name is sharma company let us go for pabli this time 
सो कंपनी इज पैबली टाइटल इज सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टर लीड सोर्स पार्टनर रेफरल इंडस्ट्री टेक्नोलॉजी अगेन फोन नंबर फोन नंबर लेट मी जस्ट पुट इन दिस नंबर मोबाइल नंबर लेट मी जस्ट पुट इन दिस नंबर ई मेल लेट मी जस्ट चेंज दिस फ्रॉम जेनी सिक्स सेवन एट टू स्वाति सिक्स सेवन एट ओके वेबसाइट लीड स्टेटस नॉट कन्वर्टेड रेटिंग हॉट now here you can see i have already used the automatic fill in so this is the automatic address and i am just going to use this one street number 10 old subhash nagar bhopal mp 462001 india now what i am going to do i am just going to click on save and as soon as i will save this uh, new lead in my salesforce account what will happen this lead will go straight away to pabli connect and from pabli connect it will go to our mysql now here you can see we have four leads i'll just click on refresh and as soon as i will refresh it will take some time for the new lead to come here so let us just wait for few seconds and let's see in how much time our lead comes here and as you can see it took me about 20 or 30 seconds to have this lead here and this swati sharma swati678 at the rate gmail.com is here this is the number this is the company lead source partner refer referral status is closed not converted so <clears throat> this is how you can connect your salesforce and your mysql so that you can have the data in your mysql automatically whenever there is a new lead created in your salesforce account now this is very useful for the developers and for the people who are using uh, mysql for their uh, operations and this uh, workflow can do wonders for you if you're using this automation and not only salesforce you can use it with other applications as well so if you loved this workflow and if you want to clone this entire workflow into your account you can just go to my description box and clone it into your account but for that you need to have an account and for that you need to go and sign up signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month so do not wait go and sign up now hasta la vista so thanks a lot for watching our video i hope you understood everything now if you want any other events to added in our module what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com if you have any queries regarding this software you can just ask your queries at this website at this link and if you want to check the prices you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software now i just want to tell you that auto automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you